Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and uh, Happy New Year and welcome back to my new unplanned well, post back and now you've got a different camera angle, that's true but it's not you that you're so close to the packages it's just that there is a rather large package at the bottom let's start with that one these, well not all of them uh, but some are bought locally and others are not and this is a second hand item and yeah so I do know what's inside here so Let's remove this duct tape. So yeah, as I just said, you've got a new camera angle. I'm really uh, keen to know what you think of the new angle. It's, uh, I've found a tripod that we well, had all the time, but I never knew its existence, to say it so. Um, so I started using it for my yeah, videos. Uh, oh. Thinking that this should go like this. No, it's not a bush thing. Lots of plastic. Packaged really well. And I can already see the item, and you can't. Well, I'm hoping that it doesn't crash down on me now. Ta da! It's another tripod. Now, why did I want this one, this specific one, this Felbon D700? Well, it got this fluid head that's allowing you to make very fluid motions that it smooth pans and tilts and eliminates unnecessary camera movements and all that stuff and I already have it but I've got my my LED mounted on it so I know the dimensions of the thing and I know that it's good I know what's capable of I only needed to find one online now there was one in France but it was all rusted and didn't look particularly good and they were asking well, around 30 euros for it and it was an eBay auction so I made a bid and it got refused instantly and I found this one well it's kind of a dollar company of eBay it's called Markplatz it's a, a Dutch website acquired by eBay with a tripod the same that I've got well rarely and barely used for 30 euros so it's as you can see is really compact it's a little bit bigger than the tripod I'm currently recording you on it has sat in the Sun for a while I think there is a little bit of rust and the fluid head is quite loose now there's one uh, thing the mounting plate that is required to mount anything to this tripod is well, missing we found it but it wasn't included in this shipment so the seller kindly I sent the mounting plate over again because I was um, it was visible on another item that he was selling so I called him up and asked hey can you please also send that one because the tripod's basically of no use now the tripod is working it's kind of hard but but that's maybe due to the angle that I'm holding this thing at 
So it's a really, uh, really nice tripod, really good found. And now I can make very fluid motion videos with you on there without having to, well, basically give up my 200 watt studio LED. So, 32 euros, I think that's quite a deal. This is one I've been waiting for for a long, 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 long time. What's this you may ask? Well, this finally is everything I need to assemble the windmill PCB. This took me, well, I think it was, I ordered it in June somewhere and these two items took half a year to be shipped. So we finally have everything we need to reflow the PCB and to program everything and to test it. So that will be coming up very shortly. Well, it will be delayed a bit. I just looked at the solid state relay that I did order and it's an SSR 25, 25 amps solid state relay, but it's the AA model. That means AC control signals and AC output. I need the DA model, which means DC control signals and AC output. So unfortunately, this is the wrong one. And it doesn't work with the reflow oven because I want to control it using my ESP8266, which this doesn't allow. So, let's open this one, this international tracking. Again, this comes from the Royal Mail for some odd reason. And well, let's hope that I get another gift with my PCBs this time and not that really strange mobile telephone telephone holder thing. Or I don't get a gift at all, that's also fine. Now oh, wow, damn. This is for another project that I'm working on in the meanwhile. Well, not currently not, since I was working on the reflow oven very hard and it should work but it's come on well, except for the solid state relay then but this you can already see it by the Gerber file printer now what's this you may ask well these are actually fairly pretty JLC really did upgrade their PCB fabrication because this looks really good. Now these are the PCBs that I'm going to be using for a new project of mine, namely the printer control project. It will feature an ESP32, uh, it will feature a PZEM004T that reads out the AC values and sends them over to the ESP. I already tried it on the ESP8266 and that wasn't capable enough of uh, reading everything since yeah, the UART on both devices is not interrupt based and well, I've changed that for the ESP32. So Let's see if the AC to DC converter fits. So this is a AC 230 volts to, yeah, 230 to 12 volts. And it uh, does fit, but this pin is a little bent. Let's mount that on here. Let's actually first mount this one. Yeah, there you go. So that fits perfectly. And these are for the AC in, AC out. Now obviously the PZEM needs to go in between. It features an ESP32, various decoupling caps, 
polyfuses, 2 amp polyfuses. It also features a LED output and a 12 volt input that's, that could be used together with a uh, solar management system. So I've also added the i squared c connector for the LCD and for anything else. Uh, so an i squared c device could be added in order to be um, in charge of the solar management computer. So they're able to communicate with each other. The LEDs will have a limited output when the printer is off, but when the printer is on, it will actually um, allow full brightness because this board will then tap into the 12 volts of the printer and then everything will fit. By the way, this is not a polyfuse I remembered. This is for a relay. Let's actually verify if the relay will fit. Well, it does need a little pin bending. So, it should, yeah, it will fit. There you go. So that fits. Really nice. Cool. So yeah, this is of course the control circuitry. So relay and these fit. I'm assuming that the rest will also fit, but we'll uh, we'll see. So PCBs for an upcoming project always fun. Now here's another thing for an upcoming project. It says connector. And I'm surprised that it came this quick and I'm hoping that the other thing also comes this quick. This is for the USB 3.0 front panel mod. I actually forgot to order the USB 3.0 headers since they're not the standard 2.54 millimeters pitch, but these are the two millimeters pitch. Let's get the boards back out. So we can hopefully see this going in. Yes, there you go. It fits perfectly. There is one pin that's blank, but yeah, that's obviously due to the fact that the, there's one data pin or there's one pin just not connected. Now, if the connections are reversed, the advantage of this is that we can do it at a whole lot of angles but not like this so i'm hoping that it isn't going to be like this i'm not going to solder this yet because i uh, firstly want to have the other the, the usb 3.1 gen or 3.2 gen 1 cable that i ordered uh, i need to know the pin out of that cable before I actually want to solder the header because the orientation does matter. Now I'm hoping it will be the regular orientation but I'm not really sure. Well, these were ordered together but came in batches. And I won't do anything with these on my channel, but I will unbox them as I said in previous video. So let's turn them apart and see what this is. Have a look. Well, they're appropriately packaged. Really good. Just what you'd expect. Now they're a little, little, yeah, a tiny bit different than I have at home. 
So we already have these uh, LEDs, or just one of them, uh, to light up the area when we actually move. But for a project that the neighborhood is participating in, we needed a few more. And on our system, we've got a button at the front that allows you to change modes. But this one has a button or a slider actually at the back, allows you to change modes. I'm not sure which one I prefer more. So there are four or there are three in them. And it's easy to install energy efficient yeah, via use of solar power. These are the 118 LED models. Sensor mode, dim mode, light mode, so sensor dim and all lighting. The all lighting mode keeps on during the day when there's sufficient natural light. Oh no, it keeps off during the day when there's sufficient natural light and then during night it keeps on in bright mode and all the time. So you've also got a dim mode. Well, it's off during the day and it's dimmed during night and when it sees movement it will fully light up and then it will go back into the dim mode and you've got the sensor mode it will remain off and when it detects movement then the uh, light will actually turn on so let's move these out of the way hey the batteries are charged hey so yeah this is the the, the dim mode it features a 1200 milliamp hour battery and I did order replacement batteries uh, you already saw that in the previous I think it was the Christmas unboxing special 12 18650 batteries with a capacity of 3450 milliamp hours and they will be used to provide uh, these lamps with uh, a lot of a higher capacity. More than double the capacity. Maybe even... No, it's almost three times the current capacity of these things. So that's, that's really an upgrade. So let's open this thing up. There you go. Oh, the whole thing just fell out. Now, as you can see, oh, there are 2200 milliamp hours, which is reasonable. Now, obviously, you need to be very careful when inserting these. Are oh, they labeled plus? I'm assuming that they're labeled plus in there as well. They're connected in parallel, which shouldn't matter too much. But when you connect them, plus that way and plus that way then you will get a massive short yeah i'm doubting no i'm not going to remove this because of the waterproof seal at the bottom but i think yeah it will be a regular regular micro i can see some headers in there i think they're used for programming there are only three so So, well, I'm actually going to install these in my battery tester and test if they're actually rated for 2200 milliamps. Now, they did a lot of weight saving on the screws and cost savings, and this plate is only connected with two screws. So, these are uh, very nice LEDs, and we will have them installed really soon in our neighborhood so that they can really provide the area with a lot of light since that is currently missing. I'm, I'm not sure what I think about the, the mode switcher at the back. I think it's good, but I also think it's, well, it makes for quite a hassle to actually uh, change the modes. And there was one thing that I was missing indeed, that were the screws. There were screws included with every light. 
so that's really cool. So yeah, well, LEDs, outdoor lighting system thingies. We've got six of them. If you want, I will open this package for you as well. But this one shouldn't be any different than this one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, these are all the same with that uh, thing at the back. So that's uh, really cool. So six uh, outdoor lighting units and a whole lot of other stuff. I actually hope that you like this unboxing and little teardown of yeah, this LED, this light, this LED light. Uh, please stay tuned on my channel. For all the projects that I just mentioned, which were three, please also stay tuned on my Instagram because I will regularly post the behind the scenes on my Instagram and project announcements and all that stuff. So if you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Then you will never miss out any video again. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.